Alright, so the first thing you want to do before you start is just to wash your hands. The best and easiest way to clean a G-Shock regularly is to use gentle soap, rub it against your fingers, and rub it all over the G-Shock watch. This is the easiest way to clean the G-Shock watch because it's not using any harmful chemicals and since it's waterproof it won't do any damage to your watch. I suggest that you do this on a regular basis just to keep all that dirt off of your watch especially if you are not going to wear it for a long time just keep it in the case after you've given it a clean wash. An important step is to make sure to dry it well with a towel. The G-Shock watch has many ridges and crevices in the back especially. Make sure that you clean that with a cotton swab and just water just so that you can grab all the dirt. The white matte G-Shock is a lot harder to clean and as you can see with this one, it has never been cleaned before. The easiest way to clean a matte G-Shock watch is to do the same with the glossy, is to wash it with just hand soap and water. Using warm water is usually quite helpful. If you search how to clean a G-Shock watch online, a lot of people have said that alcohol and nail polish remover help in taking off a lot of the dirt. However, I don't recommend this to do on a regular basis because of the harmful chemicals. A better solution to the dirt that you can't get while washing with just hand soap is to get a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of baking soda, mixing it with a cotton swab, and using that as a paste and as an abrasive in the spots that are really hard to clean. I find this to be a better solution than nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol. With this white G-Shock watch that I have, it has quite a few stains on the back and so the best solution for that is to just lay it down and use a clean white eraser and try to rub off any of those stains. If you do this method, please remember to wash your G-Shock with water so that none of the little particles of the rubber stay within the crevices and to always dry after you've wet your G-Shock watch. This is the finished product of both my G-Shock watches. If you have a different way of washing your G-Shock watch, please comment below and let me know what you do to wash your watch. If this video was helpful to you, please click that like button and click that subscribe as well for more how-tos and DIYs and also vlogs on my channel. Have a great day guys and I'll see you later.